good afternoon everybody is it afternoon? it is indeed I've been out longer than I thought <laughs> good afternoon everybody come back here I've just been to uh, Squires for a cuppa and I thought on my way back I'm going to pass this place not been here for a long time about 15 years and you're probably looking and thinking well, it's just some church or something. It's actually a priory. I'm in a place called Aberford and this is the old priory. And I used to work here many, many moons ago. Quite often in that end bit, which I was told was the crypt. And some people were too scared to go in it. But uh, I quite liked it in there because it was cold. And I like it cold. The only place I didn't go in there was up the top to the clock tower because the staircase was so tiny normal people size normal sized people I should say normal people size normal sized people couldn't get in it <laughs> but it looks quite old but behind there is a very modern office so it's all integrated so it's got the the old bit of the building and a new bit built on the back and uh, I believe they had to get special permission to do it because it's a listed building to make sure that nothing could be seen from the front although over there I can see what's either a bicycle park now or a smoking bit not sure which but yeah used to often park at the front there and spend the day here and the reason I thought I'd come over here apart from to reminisce was I used to drive here because it was before I rode before I had a bike license or indeed a CBT and on my way home every day, I used to go past a derelict building on the side of the road. On a road you can't really stop on in a car, but I reckon on a bike I can. So I thought, while I'm here, I'm going to go and have a look at it. Yeah, technology company that. According to the sign, now part of the Michelin Group. I wonder if it's the same Michelin or Michelin that does restaurant reviews and tyres which always strikes me as a strange mix real good place to work it was um, I reported directly to the MD it was a privately owned company and um, they actually bought our company the MD, a chap called Martin Port um, he said he wanted me to be head of tomorrow's world and I said I don't really want to be Ma Maggie Philbin <laughs> a lot of people won't get that I didn't really want to be uh, <laughs> like that as a title it didn't really mean a lot so I ended up being head of design for business solutions for a couple of years until we got bought out by an American investment company and Martin left and then a little bit later, I left too. Yeah, really good place to work. I've, I've, uh, you rarely come across somebody who's your boss who seems to actually care about everybody in the entire business. That's not to say anything against where I work now, of course. But um, yeah, he used to, used to walk around the business just shaking people's hands. He would meet absolutely everybody that worked there. Um, well there were thousands of people but there were over a hundred he talked to everybody I remember one day I went in to see him I was in his office and I told him uh, that my dad had just been diagnosed with cancer and it was quite an emotional time what I didn't expect was that it would be him in his office crying <laughs> at the thought that my dad had cancer so yeah Completely changed once it was taken over by the American investment company. All they cared about, dollars and cents. Hence me leaving. Went and worked at another company for about a year. That's how, I mean, in the end, they decided that they were going to get rid of the business solutions bit because the, the company now is all about vehicle tracking. They thought they would get rid of the business solutions bit, which is the bit they bought with me in it. And they, it all happened while I was on holiday. And when I came back, they said, um, just to let you know, we've divested the business solutions bit. Uh, that's 
been sold off you're not going to be uh, working for it anymore but don't worry you're staying here and I said do you know what can I have a word with the um, with the new company uh, the guy who's, who ran that and I went and had a chat with him for about an hour and I decided there and then to leave and go with a new company instead but didn't really work out with that company um, it got to a point there was only about 10 people but it, there were only really about two of us working on new things and everybody else was kind of supporting existing com customers they didn't really invest in sales people so it was clear they weren't going to go anywhere and I uh, I left went to work for the company I'm working for now um, who I was actually doing projects for <laughs> for about 11 or 12 years before I actually went to work for them so a lot of birds of prey out to me. Yeah. God, I am reminiscing, aren't I? There's nothing to the building I'm coming to see. The building I'm coming to see is a little chef. I could reminisce again, couldn't I, about our days out and holidays and dropping into a little chef on the way home. That was always the thing for us. That was the treat. Some chips or something from a little chef. Egg and chips. Um, but it used to be a little chef side of the road apparently there were three around here from the 1960s onwards and one of them was built in the 1970s closed in 2002 so 20 years ago and has basically sat there empty since and it's just around here somewhere so I used to pass it every day and think I wonder what that is? Got to think now, is it this one? Or is it this one? It's this one. So it's a kind of road that's not really one you should stop on in a car. As I say, I think on a bike I can get away with this and I can have a look. Probably after all this time it'll be a complete letdown. I do like the odd uh, derelict building. Well, it's probably going to be a bit of a disappointment after all this, isn't it? It'll just be a vandalised mess, no doubt. It's a rickety set of stairs. It's not the uh, original red signed thing that I would remember as a little chef. See a little bit of red paint on that. I'm not sure which bit was the little chef. There was apparently a petrol station a bit around here somewhere as well. Well vandalised, looks like it's been set on fire as well at some point. It's a shame. It's a bit of a surprise that this land hasn't been used for something else. But what happened was that that big roundabout I came round, that's the roundabout down to the A1. And this is the A64 here. And uh, this little chef used to service both. But because of the upgrades that were made to the motorway system, the A1M I should say, because it is a motorway now, because of the upgrades it meant that it didn't get the traffic past it anymore. So really you end up not worth it. Not worth staying open. You can see where they would have come down here and up this road to come and park up to be fair it's not that far off the roundabout I could imagine something doing a bit of trade here modern days probably a Starbucks or a McDonald's tends to be the thing but this has been basically derelict for the whole time that I used to come past and I'm assuming nothing's happened in the meantime so you know 15 years or more that this hasn't been used a little bit of a 
tunnel or something under there. This must have been uh, the garage part, mustn't it? Almost looks like uh, somewhere where you could work on vehicles under there. Some half a bed. Somebody's decided to sleep here occasionally, maybe. It's not a huge amount of excitement. <laughs> Just, uh, as I say, somewhere that I've gone past so many times and thought, I wonder. Definitely well smashed up, isn't it? Not much of excitement to look at. I shall try and find a more interesting derelict building. This one doesn't, for me, doesn't quite compare with the old RAF base with a massive dish. Cool, that's had a big crack in there. Yeah, I would imagine if they do have to, do decide to use this for anything. I see there's a it says it's to let, but I mean that that side there could have been up there 20 years, couldn't it? If they are going to ever reuse it, I'm guessing all of this would have to be flattened first. Probably quite a bit of work on this bit here as well. But um, you can kind of imagine it turning into a, a business. With its links to the A64 and the A1M, with decent insulation for sound, it's actually quite handy as a place to live, I would imagine. Yes. Can't work out what that said. It's not going to be one of those signs that sells for hundreds of pounds, is it? <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. Some of that graffiti looks like it almost could be for a uh, coffee shop and subway. There's probably some deep meaning to that particular graffiti that I don't get. If it's horribly offences, offensive, I apologise. <laughs> anyway, I shall get on my way. Itch scratched, as they say. So thanks for watching everyone, ride safe, and I'll talk to you all again soon. <laughs>